So what's astigmatism? It's a question that a lot of patients ask. Uh, when you have a prescription in your eyes and you have glasses or contact lenses, there's usually two numbers. The first number is whether you're nearsighted or farsighted. And the second number is how much astigmatism you have. Almost every patient has a certain level of astigmatism. And astigmatism has to do mainly with the curvature of your cornea. I like to refer to the cornea as the windshield of the eye. And it's the front part of the eye. It's typically where the contact lens sits on your eye. And that cornea has different curvatures that give everyone different levels of astigmatism. Now the next question would be, well, how does astigmatism relate to LASIK? Well, when you have LASIK surgery, LASIK surgery corrects whether you're nearsighted or farsighted, but also corrects your astigmatism. And the whole purpose of LASIK surgery, the whole purpose of achieving 20-20 vision is to be able to correct the nearsightedness and the farsightedness, but at the same time, correct the astigmatism as well, which is key. There are many instruments that are used these days Back in the day, we would use standard techniques that we would measure your prescription for glasses and contact lenses, and we would input that information into our laser, and that's what the laser would perform on your eye, and people did great. Now we use different techniques where we call, we call it a custom view wave scan, where it takes a lot of pictures of your eyes, and it actually kind of hones in on your prescription. It, it basically gives us the ability to enable us to get you 20-20 vision, and it maximizes our efforts to not only get you 20-20 vision, but better vision than what you had with your contact lenses and your glasses. There are no extra risks in having LASIK surgery, whether you have astigmatism or not. The aftercare uh, with LASIK surgery, whether you have astigmatism or not, is no different. So what patients can do is they can give us a call. We have LASIK coordinators that work in our office that actually are in charge of putting patients into contact with the physician. All the physicians, all the surgeons, including myself, are always available to speak to the patients just in case some patients have a little, some butterflies before they come in, they want to speak to the doctor before they even come in for an evaluation. We'll be more than happy to speak to the patient. Also, after the evaluation, if patients find out they are a candidate and they're not sure if they want to book surgery because a lot of patients are very nervous, which is, which is normal, um, the LASIK coordinators will put the surgeon who did the consultation in contact with the patient and sometimes the patients need to talk a little bit more with the surgeon so they get a better feel and they need to feel more comfortable and I think that's really key. You need to really feel comfortable with the surgeon because if you can feel comfortable then I think that sets the stage for a good relationship with the, phys with the physician, with your surgeon and that just makes everything better.